Okay, we're just about at the last question, but a kind of a, a longer one and a kind of challenging at the end, but not so challenging at the beginning here. We're supposed to prove, we're supposed to prove, and maybe I should go back uh, a little bit here. You always should read this stuff real carefully because sometimes the key to the whole thing is hidden in here a little bit or you, you, you miss something and then you waste a bunch of time. Anyways, it says that PK is a tangent. PK, that's a tangent. That's a tangent. So I can use a tan chord theorem there. PK is a tangent, and the chord to the chord um, LS is produced to P. We got that. N and M are points on KP. N and M are points, okay, on KP and SP, respectively, such that MN and SK, those two lines are parallel. Chord KS and LN intersect at T. Okay. Chords um, KS, KS, and LN intersect right there at T. Okay, I've got that picture. Now, here we go. Prove giving reasons that K4 is equal to NML. Well, you were given that this was a tangent line here, this KN along here. This is a tangent line. So that means that K4 equals S1 because the angle between a tangent and the chord is equal to the tangent that subtends the same chord up in the opposite segment here. So there you go. That's the first thing. K4 equals S1 because of the tan chord theorem. But hey, angle M and S here, NMS, this angle in here, which is M2 plus M3, that equals S1 because, hey, those are parallel lines. That's corresponding angles. Okay, so there we have it. K4 equals NML. There we go. We just proved it. Now, the next thing we're supposed to prove is that this green thing here, I like to put a little bit of color in here to follow it. I've got a computer, so it makes it a little easier. But KL, um, MN, I go right around there and make look at the, the quad that I'm talking about. And I'm going to say, I'm supposed to prove that's a cyclic quad. But hey, if I continue on this line, K4 is the exterior angle. And M2 plus M3 and ML is the um, interior angle of this cyclic quad. So this is a cyclic quad. I could put a circle around these four letters. And the reason is the exterior angle of a cyclic quad. I would say the converse of an exterior angle of a cyclic quad makes KLM a cyclic quad. And there you go. There's the first part done.